All right then, we're back. Here's one. Here's one of the little flares about me doing things post. I actually pay attention to the time, so you don't just have me. You don't just have my videos being cut up into these little segments because I do it in 40 sec, 40 minute bursts. Now you're gonna have me break off and break back on. Um, I, I do, I do like post, but I, it, there's, there's a certain, there's a flare from it being rehearsed, and there's a flare from it being completely spontaneous. Because that's what, that's what I see when I see post. I see it rehearsed. It's like practiced. You're like trying to get it. You like know what you're gonna say. You know what's going to happen, and you like can basically see everything coming. But then there's that certain natural ability that comes from uh, when you're doing solo. When you're solo, you're just you're going off of what's going on. What's going on? You're just going off the top of your head. You never really have to work with informatics or information. Informatics is informatics a word? It should be. That sounds like an awesome word. Just like that. Like I, I really like doing solo, but rehearse, there are just times where it's better to be rehearsed. Um, rehearse can be done at any time. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do it, I said, I'm saying rehearsed and solo. Rehearsed and live commentary. There we go. Uh, when it, whenever it's, whenever it's live, it's kind of difficult because you always have to have everyone there and they have to be there while you're playing the game. But, uh, one of the good things about it being rehearsed is that you have the video already, the footage is already recorded, and you just need people to speak over it. So you could even, like, give the video to the person, like, and you could uh, do it over Skype or something like that. Quality might not always be as good, but it, you can still do that, and it works. I mean, that's what Hellfire Comms did. They're an inspiration. Uh, and then, but I still like Solo, and Solo, I wouldn't have even thought of Solo. I keep saying Solo. Can I not say Solo? Okay, come on, guys. Say it with me. Live. Commentary. Live commentary. Live, 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 not solo. Solo is live. Rehearsed is group. Can I get this through my thick skull? Okay. Just music. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's just like Ch Chugga Conroy is what inspired me to do live, and because it's just like when you see him and just see like his reactions, because that's one of the things that um you get out of get doing solo versus what? Oh my God, really? about doing <laughs> live versus rehearsed. When you do live, you get that genuine reaction, really. And that's what really, uh, and that's what makes it, gives it its own flair. I mean, I really, personally, Chugga Conroy probably wouldn't be as popular if it wasn't for his raging. Like, just the raging that he has cut from his reactions, because it's so genuine and it's hilarious. And then, um, Hellfire Comms, they're very informatic. Well, at the same time, Chugga Cor Ch Conroy? Chugga Conroy is still very informatic. And I'm just rambling on about everything except the game. Because uh, nothing's going on, really, so I have to ramble. There's nothing else. We're in the space stage. What are we in? Like, part 40. We're, we're, all, we're almost in part 40. And it's just like we, we've been 40 parts through the sta space stage. It's like, get on with it. There's nothing new is happening. I'm killing people. What's the difference than what we were doing before? What were we doing? We were killing other people. No difference. Um... Yep, we got that city. Uh, oh no, we got the whole planet. Yeah, this planet is now. Our oh, we own the home planet. So uh, that's really good. Home planet is that really cripples the rest of the empire once you get the home planet because then the empire doesn't really have its main um, HQ. In fact, it moves the HQ to the second best planet after that. So then we're so the next system over, it's going to uh, will probably be the, the next best planet. Uh, a really interesting thing that you will notice. Washing machine, god. Uh, I'm like about to get up and turn that thing off. Um, one interesting thing that you will notice when you're uh, capturing, like, planets, 
there are if there's more than one planet in the solar system that's actually uh, owned by that race, you actually have to go to each individual planet and capture each one. So if there just happen to be like three home planets, like the legit home planets with like seven cities, uh, <laughs> sucks to be you. I doubt that would actually happen though, because there's always one home planet in the solar system, and then there can be other planets, but it's just like not as uh, populated and such. And we're reaching like 20 minutes. We're reaching like the second end of the second part and I'm really running out of things to say. <laughs> Cause sport is I, I will I will admit the space stage is extremely boring. I would just like break it off right now, but I really I I really just wanna go through with this. Cause I wanna complete a I wanna complete a playthrough. I want to do a whole playthrough, I can't fly, I want to do a whole playthrough, I want to complete the whole thing, I'm not going to 100% this, because that's just suicide. I mean, the fact that I said that I would go all the way to finding the center of the universe would was a little much. I should really stop when we reach the Groks, because after, because that's pretty much, there's pretty much only two events left to happen in the entire game. That is, okay, technically three, but it's really an easter egg. You can either, there is finding the Groks, and finding the center of the universe. Once those things happen, then there's pretty much nothing left to do. Like, nothing special or sporadic. Uh, once you get start... Once you get, a, uh, If you get the expansion pack, uh, I think it's just Spore Captain Adventures or something like that. The one where you get your own little star captain and you get the special space armors and stuff. And you get... And, and it also adds on the metal expansion pack, or the robotic, not robotic, insectoid, exoskeleton stuff. Um, but once you get that, uh, it kind of adds stuff, because it allows you to just create quests. But there's no, there's like, uh, there's like the smallest amount of pre-made quests, and it's only really based off of what their, uh, the people's philosophy are, and so there's really like, what, nine? Yeah, there's nine philosophies, so there's nine different missions you can do. And really, they repeat a lot, because there, because the, for one, out of out of the nine of them, there's actually a philosophy which I can't remember off the top of my head. I believe it's a uh, bard. No, it's not bard. Scientist. The scientist philosophy. No other. No, there's never another race that'll be a scientist. You're the only person that can be a scientist. So yeah, we're pretty special. I didn't want to be a scientist, but yeah. Well, I mean, really, scientists are cool, but I was going for the night. Knights are knights are awesome. I shouldn't back away from the microphone. Uh, knights are awesome because they're you get to make as many you. Have I ever mentioned all of the abilities? I don't think I have. Okay, there is a scientist which allows you to get the gravitational bomb, which allows you to destroy every single city in the planet. There is the zealots which get fantastical fan fantastical fantasy or something like that. It's it, it's an alliteration. You get that, and basically you sing a song, and it captures all the cities on the planet, which is, basically, it's like mine, except I don't destroy everything, and we actually capture it a lot easier, and we don't have to recolonize it, so it's good for those home planets. Uh, there is bards, who I believe they also get a song, which just basically makes people stop hating you. There's traders, which allow you to automatically buy out a planet, there is, um, hmm, knights which allow you to make mini you. It's a miniature version of you. It fights like you. It doesn't have as much health as you, but yeah, it has the same weapons. So the stronger you are, the stronger it gets, which is pretty cool. Um, there's ecologist, or something like that. Yeah, ecologist, which allows you to, uh, automatically, you press a button, and you automatically just complete the ecosystem for that T stage. So if you need to fill out the T1, press the button, it does it. It's really cool. Um, there's also Diplomat. Diplomat, you... I'm doing this all off of memory. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this really quick.
I should really just keep this wiki open all the time. I should always keep wikis open all the time. You, you know what, you should always have a wiki open at every single point in your life, because a wiki will always help you. There's never a time where a wiki has wronged me. Except the one time where that was actually out of my own, uh, dumbassery, I will say. Because... I'm rambling again. Okay, here, uh... There's the Wanderer, which you start when you have to start in the space stage, that doesn't really count. You get nothing. Uh, you can be a Shaman, where you get the return ticket, which allows you to automatically teleport home, no matter where you are. There's the Trader, which gives you cash infusion, builds progress on trade route with the planet. You get Warrior, which gives you Raider Rally. Warrior is a good one. Uh, they, they have the same ideas as Zealots, like they're very violent, but uh, they do... Zealots are more for religious reasons, and Warriors just like killing things. And you get Raider Rally, which summons pirates to attack the planet, which is a pretty cool ability. What are we doing? That outer dotted ring, that's uh, the maximum amount of uh, range we can go. And the ring we have now is the current range that we can shoot, like from star to star. So once we get, so when we actually get Interstellar Drive Five, we're gonna be able to cover some. We're gonna be able to cover ground pretty quickly, which is good. Uh, Zealots gets yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. Fan fanatical frenzy. I knew it was like an alliteration with F. Yeah, take over all the colonies on the planet with religion, but it violates galactic code. Um, there's the Diplomat, Static Cling, stops all ships and turrets from on the planet at a time. I don't know why the Diplomat does that, because Diplomats, they're basically very, they're like, lawful. They're, <laughs> they're lawful good. They're, they're very, uh, lawful about their nature, they're diplomatic, they pretty much put the law first, they have grand councils and such, they believe the law is the only thing they should follow by, where you got the zealots who believe in religion, and then war, and then war leads warriors, traders are led by money, shamans are, I think they're like spiritual, basically, uh, and then there's scientists led by science, science is the only thing that matters, blah blah blah, that's what we are, destroys every structure on the planet, violates galactic cold, cold? violates galactic code for the gravitation wave, um, yeah, there it is, yeah, it is ecologist, oh, I got that. Ecologist, nature, you gotta preserve nature, keep everything alive and well and blah blah blah. We shouldn't, we shouldn't fight, we should remain peaceful, man. We're the hippies. Um, <laughs> safari, they get safari vacuum, a duck species on each one. I thought you completed one. But then again, that does sound a little overpowered. Um, then you can, then you can also get Bard, which you get to new song, come, comes with their empires. So if you're in the red zone, like I am with these people, and I, for, and I, not these people. Yeah, these people, because they just captured their planet. Like I, like how you're at war with someone, so they hate you. You do soothing song, you're no longer at war with them. Creates instant peace, which is really good when you're not trying to fight people, and that's how bards are. Bards just want to dance and party, not care about anything, so they don't want to have um, a heavy burden like war on their mind. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going back to one of my planets to look around for a while. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Alright then, um, I will be right back.